Oh, you want us to pick at you? Hey, hey, I know what we can talk about. Hey, you know what? Hold on, wait. Bianca. I don't know where he's going. Bianca has a new boyfriend. Oh! Ho, ho. Praise that now. God. You got a new boyfriend? I represent the king of all kings, Elohim, kinda like it's in my jeans. But if you really peep the seams, then it seems that if you check this tall, dark human being for something holy and clean, I got nothing to bring or to show. But when you look into my eyes, you see this. Welcome to our segment of Brotherly Advice on Real Talk with Ted and Chris. How long y'all been? Man. How long y'all been kicking it? A while now. Mm. Is he a believer? Of course. Have you brought him to your church? Not yet. Can I but I haven't How okay. From the time frame that you've been seeing this guy, right? Mm -hmm. Has he spit any type of scripture at you? Oh yeah. You just had a debate on scripture with him. And so he's leveled, he's he's rooted in, in oh, the God, word. Yeah. Mm, okay. What does he drive? Are you serious right now? I'm asking. I'm not even gonna go there. Why you wanna know what he drives? That's you. Because she said that's the first thing you said to me. Oh, Chris! Is that wrong? So, so what he drove? Like, so let me. No, I'm not saying that's what the reason. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anything. This is a good conversation. No, we're gonna put this on there. No, we're not. Yes, we are. This is every woman should watch this right now. I want to know what. What? It doesn't matter what he's cool with. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. No, 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 no. What does he drive? I just want to know what he drives. A Mercedes Benz. So that's what that's what like attracted you. No, it's no, not important. No, it's that's not, what Chris I'm not brought saying, up. I'm not saying no, it's important. Chris I just said, asked Chris said that's what caught you. That's the first thing that caught you. That's you, not no, true. no, I didn't say that. I said when I told you when you, you told me about he you was asked like me, he asked me me if I was into someone else, and I said no because I'm not doing like the you know the hood Negroes no more. I'm into like more professional type dudes type dudes that wear suits and that sit behind a desk and that drive nice cars and then we started going into it and I showed a picture and then I told him <laughs> you know who he is so the okay now this is another question the first picture you showed Chris was it his car or the guy no it was the guy, guy. <laughs> it was, the guy. It was <laughs> only and pictures was of the guy I don't have so how do you know about car. his car she told me about it that's what she said so real talk with Ted and Chris yeah. Bianca got a new boyfriend <laughs> and yeah, not only she got a new boyfriend, right? She was first attracted to his car. That's not true. <laughs> oh my god, that is no. so not. She met him on Christian Mingle. I did not. <laughs> no. <Mingle>. Huh? <laughs> you met him on Christian Mingle? All right, no, 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 no. She met him on BlackPeopleMeet.com. <laughs> no, no, I no, did no, not. No, <laughs> nah, it was mutual. Mm. Yes. She met him on Christ she for met Singles. Him on Tinder. On Tinder. I she she swiped swipe. right. I do not swipe in. I don't swipe. So you don't swipe. Right. I she don't. didn't say I don't use it either. All right, let's get some. I don't use it. Let's, let's get some. Okay, Cupid or pl Plenty of Fish or How you know all of them? Planet. Ooh, Hi, whoa. Of that How you know of, all those? That Plenty of Fish gets you in trouble. It gets you in a lot of trouble. Oh my gosh. I don't I, have a question. I had to change my number because of Plenty of Fish. about online dating, like meeting someone online and getting to know them that way. I, I know I know a couple people who met their wives online. Yeah, me too. Um, me I too. wouldn't advise it, but love you can find love anywhere. I, you know, it's just, that online dating to me is kind of like, I don't know, man. It's so much traffic, you know, you're trying to like, I've tried online dating before and it's just like, gets on your nerves. You know one thing I hate about online dating? They say it's free, and then when you like put all the information in, they'll like you'll get all the way to a certain point, and then they'll have someone message you, and you click it. Oh, well, you gotta click to get the premium. <laughs> Switch over so you can get. No, the no, message. you get the first message for free, <laughs> and then like, the person send you another message. You go like, yeah, you gotta pay seven ninety nine for the next thirty messages. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like thoughts on the fact that people can't find people like they did back in the day, and now everything everything evolves. Right. 
you look at back in the days when people used to um, 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 promote whatever business they did, they would go out, go out in the streets and get flyers out. They would uh, make calls to people's homes. They would do all sorts of things. Now, promotion has evolved. Now people promote on social media. Everything evolves. So nowadays, because um, the, the, the type of lifestyle we live is a shift and go, go, always never staying still type of lifestyle, the only time people sit still is behind a computer. So that's where most people meet their, 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 their mates, you know what I'm saying, behind a computer or on their phones, you know what I mean? I'm not against online dating. I've, I've did on, online uh, dating before. I've met some good people on there, never last, because um, it's frustrating. It's not only frustrating, I, that was my BC days, you know what I'm saying? I was bugging out back then. Yeah, Alright, totally. back to um, what we were saying. Um, online dating is good. It depends on who you are, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's better for older people to do it than the younger people. Yeah. Younger people could go out there and just meet people, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like older people, like I'd say maybe like 27, 28 and up, I think That's online cool. dating is good because a lot of people in those age, they're in their profession. They don't have time to be going out and doing all mix and mingling. Young people do all that. So older people, you go online, you can meet good people. I know a lot of people that have gotten married yeah. off of meeting people online. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think if you're a Christian and you meet somebody mm -hmm. and that person is deeply rooted in Christ and you are, why not? You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's like. So is there anything biblical in reference to meeting someone in that way no right no no there's no. nothing that you met the person listen if god bring two together he could use any means yes yeah, that's god true. could use the bus you can hop on the bus and meet somebody god that's could true. use a car accident well, yeah god could use anything for look two at people to look meet. at look at what's the name you walk down the aisle with the at the wedding yeah yeah you know, yeah, yeah my boy name. we're not gonna say his name but, but you know what i'm saying he met somebody he, he met somebody girl. walking down the aisle he was at a wedding it's like you know what I'm saying? You're getting with oh, you, like and your like you and your boyfriend getting married, right? And then you invite me and Chris to, to walk in it. Mm -hmm. And the girls that we walk with, and I, I meet my wife while I'm there. Oh, yeah. oh You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah so cool. so anything anything could happen. We're going to close out today, guys. Um, Listen, we just want to tell you guys, everyone that watches this show, that subscribes to our channel, that comments, that shows love, that subscribe. likes, that shares. We love you guys. For real, we pray for you guys. And any more questions, I don't think we say this enough. Real talk with Ted and Chris at gmail.com. Real talk with Ted and Chris at gmail.com. Click the link I'm, below. You look at this link right here, right? Right below. Real talk with Ted and Chris at gmail.com. So um, we're going to uh, basically um, close this out. Um, we love you guys. Um, thank you for your support. And um, listen. God saved me. He saved Chris. He can do the same for you, B. Chris? Praise God. We would like to wish you a happy new year from Real Talk with Ted and Chris. I, can't I represent the king of all kings and low Hey, there's this man out there, hungry for the Lord on fire for him. I want you to like, share, and subscribe, Real Talk with Ted and Chris. Right now, right today. Do it. When you look into my eyes, you see this gleam when I float. He really hung up on that beam.